Okay, so payback period is another way that we can evaluate a project. It's generally inferior to the net present value because it, uh, it doesn't really consider future cash flows after we, after we make back our investment, but that's okay. Uh, it's definitely something to consider. So imagine we have this project here, it cost us $50,000 to accept, maybe we had to buy a bit of machinery or something. And then we have our annual cash flows here, uh, giving us the cumulative cash flow. So this is how much money in total this project has brought in for us. Um, and we want to figure out how long it's going to take to make back this $50,000. So obviously at the end of year four, we've made back $45,000. And then at the end of year five, we've made back more than our $50,000. So we know that our project is going to be somewhere between four and five years. Now that the way that we do this is we can do it graphically, just plot your years versus your cumulative cash flow. And you just want to consider this last section here, the section that the, the year that you know it's between four and five years. So you just connect this with a straight line, and then you want to figure out where this $50,000 you know, cost lies on that line. And then again, you want to find the corresponding you know, time or the amount of years it takes you to get there. And that's all we do. It's definitely an approximation. So, uh, But if you've ever taken a numerical methods course, we call this uh, linear spline interpolation. But if not, don't worry about that. Um, we're just simply doing uh, simple rise over run stuff. So payback period. Uh, we're going to say that in our case, well, first of all, we should probably define what this x1 and y1 stuff is. So we'll say that this point here is going to be x1, y1, and this point up here, we're going to call this x2, y2. So then what we can simply do is we'll just notice that y1, well, x1 is going to be 4, 4 years, and then x2 will be 5 years. y1 will be the corresponding cumulative cash flow, so we'll have y1 is 45,000 and y2 is 65,000. So we can just go ahead and fill this in now. So we'll get four plus the cost that we're looking for along this line is 50,000. So 50,000 minus Y1, which was 45,000. 45,000. Uh, and this is over Y2, which is 65,000. 65,000 minus 45,000. Uh, close that bracket. And then we have X2 minus X1. So we just have five minus four. That uh, just turns out to be one. Uh, you don't have to make a graph. Sometimes it's easy just to kind of visualize it, but obviously you can get all of these numbers right off this table. Okay, so payback period we have, this is going to be equal to four plus, well, this term reduces to 0 0.25. So we're going to get our payback period, payback period, there we go, uh, is going to equal, in this case, 4.25 years. So there we go. Again, this is definitely approximation. This is assuming that the you know the cash comes in in a nice straight line like this, which in real life it probably comes in you know every two weeks or monthly or quarterly or something like that. But for now, at this level, it's definitely a good approximation.